A very warm welcome to the show. I'm Kyle Northern and you're watching Under Pressure, the quiz show with a twist. It may be easy enough to gain points, but it's just as easy to lose them. For every answer our contestants get right, they'll get two points. However, for every wrong answer, there is a possibility of losing points, meaning it is possible to end the show on negative points. On that note, let's see who we've got playing today. On my left, we have, from DMU Football Club, manager Cole and the assistant manager, Matt. Hello, boys. Hello. I'm good. I'm good. How about yourselves? Not bad. Excited to be here? Very happy. Very. Good, good. Competitive from the football Very. team? You're going to win. You're going to win? No. All right, all right. I'm fighting talk. No, I'm and to my right, we have, from Demon FM, Lee Pearson, executive producer of The Source, and Tom Williams, head of marketing and communications. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How's things over at the FM end of things? Very good. Awesome. We're going to beat the footballers. You're going to beat them, are you? Oh, yeah. All right. They're just some kids that like to play with balls. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you were at one point. I like playing balls. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right, let's go. First, we have the whiteboard round. This is the round to start building up your points as a maximum of four points per team can be won or lost per <laughs> question. You're not allowed to confer. If you do, you will be reprimanded and lose points. So just please don't do it, because I will have to punish you, and it's not going to be pretty. Let's start with our first question, then. You've got 10 seconds to answer each question. I am lighter than a feather, yet no man can hold me for very long. What am I? Write your answers on your whiteboards. All right, then. Uh, we're going to Demon FM. Please reveal your answers for me. We've got air and fire there. Air and fire? Yeah. Mm. All right, we'll go to DMU Football, then. If you reveal your answers, hold your answers up with the cameras. <laughs> we've got a P. <laughs> right? A P. And we've got... I don't know. At least you're honest. Yeah. I mean, at least you I didn't say a P. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you the correct answer was breath. Makes sense? Oh. Makes sense? Oh, yeah. Makes sense? Well, yeah. I've got breath on my card and I'm not giving you that points. So. <laughs> but that's so, so it wasn't a P. <laughs> it wasn't a P. Just, just to clarify, it wasn't a P. <laughs> and it wasn't air. It had to be breath, I'm afraid. Okay. Sorry, Demon FM. How can you drop an egg three feet without breaking it? Write your answers on the right board. So last question, guys, so come on. Try and get double points for both of you. That's it, Cole, write it. Pen to board yeah. might help. Yep. All right, um, we're ready to reveal then. Let's go Demon FM if you reveal your answers. On to cushions. OK. Lower, well, you did there, Tom. Impressive. Lee, what does that say? Can you read that? It says... Hard boiled or land it on the rounded end because that's the hardest end of an egg, and if you push on it, uh, it won't break. Okay, um, <laughs> right. How do I, I don't know, it's just something I learned. Press it really hard, don't you? Yeah, you and you, you, you can stand on it and it won't break. She's yeah. good. Wow. She's good. Wrong answer, but she's good. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. Oh, nice explanation there. Uh, DM me football then, if you just show me your answers. Put, Put a pillow, pillow underneath. Pillow underneath. Water. Similar yeah, the water's to the clever. cushion from Tom, actually. He said a cushion. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the water. In water. The water's clever. You know what? Some good answers. Yeah. Some really good answers, but I can tell you the actual answer is drop it four feet, the first three feet, the egg won't hit anything. Really? Oh, oh that's yeah. stupid. Oh, well, yeah. I think that was a good that's question clever. and a good answer. Yeah, that's good. That's good. At least I went scientific and QI it. about it's it. You're a footballer. The first three feet, isn't it? Can I just say, he just said because you're a footballer, that's why you didn't get it. <laughs> I did explain it to him, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I, st I still didn't understand. I'll be <laughs> that's why you have your assistant manager for that. Yes, Explanation of <laughs> simple things. All right, brilliant. Uh, end of that round, let's move on to our next round. This round is the picture round. On your screens, you'll be able to see various images that correspond to a film or TV title. For example, if you look at your screens now, you'll be able to see an image of an eagle and an eye. So the answer would be? Eagle eye. Simple enough, right? All right, then. Each team will take it in turns to work out the meaning behind their pictures. You have 20 seconds per title. And if you fail to give me an answer, I will pass it over to the opposing team, resulting 
and you're losing two points. You will not lose points for wrong answers in this round, okay? So, DME Football Club, we'll start with you if you'd like to take a look at your screen, and you've got 20 seconds to work out what the film title is. What on earth is that? <laughs> So you've got galaxy. raspberry jam. Jam. Something jam. Gal Space jam. Space, Space jam. jam. Yeah. Good. All right. Good times. Space jam indeed. Just reveal that, yeah. Space and jam equals space jam. Here's the next title then. Pink Panther. The pink... Oh, that was easy. Panther. Yeah. I bet we've got the, the pink ones. Panther. Impressive. Three out of three so far. Thank you. Yeah. All right, the pink panther. Um, we're going to go over to Demon FM, I believe, now. Yep, yeah, let's go to Demon FM then. Um, they did well. They did. I'm hoping that you're going to do as well as them. Good. Do better. better. We'll do better. Will you do better? Yeah, we'll get four Again, out of three. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, you know. I don't know. Are you big you're film watchers? You're really hard ones, aren't you? Well, <laughs> I don't know about yours. You, you have to, honestly, I think some of yours are quite difficult. Uh, do you watch films? Do you watch a lot of films? I do, yeah. Yeah. You watch a lot of films? I own a lot of films, so... Yeah. Yeah. All right, then, uh, let's start with your first one and see if you can back up what you've just said. High School Musical. Yeah. Oh, well done. High School Musical. Yeah. Do you have a reveal on that for me, then? Can we have good films, please? Hi. <laughs> not a fan of High School Musical, Lee. Not, not particularly. You are... Tom, you seem like the type. I love it. Yeah. Troy Bolton? <laughs> Troy Bolton? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I like Bartem. Vanessa Hudgens. I prefer a bit of um, Ryan, personally. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> I do. All right, next, uh, <laughs> next film title, then, please. What? First place. First date. Uh, oh, 50 first 50 dates. 50 first dates. <sighs> Impressive. Again, Demon FM. I love that yep. film. 50 oh, first dates. Indeed, it was. It's a great film. All right, can we reveal the scores uh, up to this point of the game? Demon FM, negative two points. What? <laughs> <laughs> Negative two points, <laughs> and DEMU football, negative two points. Oh, well, we so you're drawing. To. You're both on negative two. That's because we did really bad in the first round. You don't want to end the game on negative points, guys, so you well, need to sort of... How do we get negative? Because we All right, um, points. Let's move on to our next round. round, then, guys. Oh. Now we have the music round. This round is essentially musical charades. One contestant from each team will have music played through a pair of headphones, which they have to act out to their teammate. Their teammate needs to figure out what song is playing from these actions. You can act out either the lyrics you hear, or if you want to be helpful, you can act out either the song, title, or artist. You will be given two points for every correct song, title, or artist. Four points if you can give me both. So for Demon FM, Lee, you're going to uh, be the actor. So if you'd like to stand up and put your headphones on for me. Fantastic. And uh, Demi Footy, if you'd like to stand up Cole, and you're going to be the uh, Sherrod Master. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, flex your muscles. Get, 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 get your blood pumping. That's it. Do, Do some stretches. stretches. <laughs> we don't want any injuries on this show. All right, um, if we're ready, we can hear our first song. All right. Three words. Bonkers. First word. Dizzy. Dizzy. Dizzy rascal. Third word. Dizzy. Heart. Oh, I'm so dizzy. Heart. 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 Love. 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 Dizzy love. Heart. Dizzy in, in, in love. Heart. Dizzy. Dizzy. Love. Heart? Dizzy. Heart. 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 Dizzy. Dizzy. Love. Dizzy. Dizzy. Third word. Heart. Love confused. Dizzy love. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to, gonna have to stop you there. Love machine. Gonna have to stop Dizzy you there. Love. It was Beyonce. Crazy, crazy in, love. in love. Oh, that's why crazy. Can I just ask? Sorry, um, Cole, why was the booty shake not there? You could have just oh, done that. Yeah. Yeah. Just Such an obvious like movement. Because it wasn't you gonna did. happen. All right, um, no yeah. points given there. No points. You should just do that. All right, so let's go. Have got it. <laughs> let's go for the second song. Two words. <laughs> I'd love to see this. Sex yeah. machine. Okay. Sex bomb. Two. Tom Jones, sex bomb. Boom. Oh, Demon <laughs> FM. Straight in there. Tom Jones fan. Yes, oh. I love it. Oh, well, well, like sex it. bomb by Tom Jones. Brilliant. So fantastic. All right, then. Um, that's the end of that round. Some good movements from both Demon FM and DMU 
football, although Cole's not very happy here with his teammate. Oh, it's just disappointing. He let me down. What he did was this. He just let me down. Seems like That's always let down. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Demon FM? I think we did all right. Your radio, actions. music, done. Do, that's it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> radio, yeah. They were one up on you there. You just kick balls around a field. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, then, then that's the end of that round, then. Let's move on to our next round. <laughs> Last round now, this is the quickfire round. It speaks for itself. Each team will be given questions for one minute. They need to answer as many as possible in this time without getting them wrong. Otherwise, all their hard-earned points will be redundant. Good times, teams. Let's begin with uh, you, Demon FM. Ready for this? Pump yourself. I don't right, really can't bot it. <laughs> In golf, what is meant by the term par five? Five shots to get to the hole. Wrong, the hardness of the hole. Who were the first Norwegian group to have a number one hit record in the UK? Norwegian group? ABBA? Incorrect, no, AHA. What is the European name for Vauxhall? Opal. Correct. Who are the developers of the game Gran Turismo? Ido. I e I D O. EA Games? Incorrect. Polyphony Digital. Right. Who was the youngest person to have a chart topping solo single in 1970? Michael Jackson? Correct. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who was the presenter of the first series of Robot Wars? Oh, what's his oh, name? That bloke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy bloke. from Red Wolf. Liverpool man. Your name? Oh, what's it was name? Jeremy Clarkson. Was who what? directed the film Jaws? Steven, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. Correct. And that's your last question, Demon FM. I'd just like to say, well, par five on a golf course is the recommended amount of shots it takes to get to the hole. Otherwise, you're a birdie if you're under it. Or and that's what I said. And you said it was wrong. That's what a par five means. I'm hearing we're going to give you that those points Thank for you. that question. <laughs> I can only go by what I'm told on my cue cards. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Right then, so we'll go over to DMU Football then. Cole and Matt, are you pumped for this? Yeah, mm. ready. Last round, get some good points. All right then, let's start. <laughs> what part of your body is medically known as the trachea? Head pass, <laughs> did I pass? Uh, uh, it, uh, it was the windpipe. How many times is the name Annie mentioned in the song Annie's Song? 16. <laughs> it's none, actually. Oh. How many points would you get for a try in Rugby League? Four. Correct. What is the name of the Google web browser? Google. <laughs> Google. Chrome. Google Chrome. Correct. In which year did the yellow puppet Flat Eric reach number one and Britney Spears achieve her first UK number one? Uh, 2000. Incorrect, it was 1999. Which late rap star did Pete Diddy and Faith Evans eulogise in the track I'll Be Missing You? Notorious B.I.G. Correct, and that's the last question of that round. Well done to uh, DMU Football and well done to Demon FM. Well Brilliant. Um, Notorious B.I.G. there. Yeah. You seem like you knew that. You were about to take the answer right out of my mouth. I thought I could, but I thought I'd let you for this question. Big <laughs> okay, um, that was the uh, last round of the show, so I'm going to reveal the oh. scores. DMU Football, negative two points. Oh. And Demon FM, four points. Yay! So the winners are you, Demon FM. Because we're cleverer. Because you're cleverer. Because we're saucem. Hey. Hey. Because you're saucem. <laughs> I like that. Please I listen like that. on Friday, 2 till 4, to the source. And a Thursday, 2 till 4. <laughs> and on a Wednesday, 10 till 12, for the rock show. OK, uh, <laughs> nice promotion there. <laughs> <by the laughs> NFM. Love it. I mean, DME Football, have you got anything to say? Uh, we've got a varsity match coming up next year, we could say. Uh, Walker Stadium, 21st of March. So come support us. We'll beat Leicester Uni. Definitely. Hey. Obviously, we're all in agreement of that. Yeah. Yeah. All in agreement of that. Um, but today, Sadly, you're losers. Yeah. I mean, you came in walking the walk and talking the talk like Big Ben. Uh, you can't win them all, can you? You, you went out on negative points. Yeah, uh, no, not I good. Got all positive points. Yeah, I think Matt got all our points. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's a star and Cole's just... Again, you're the manager. He does all your work for you. He's the assistant yeah, manager. Yeah, whatever I tell him to do. And thanks for watching. This has been Under Pressure. I've been Kyle Northern. See you again next time. <laughs>